If you think things are too good to be true, if you look at manifestation videos and think this can't be possible, I can't create my reality with my mind, you don't realize you're currently creating your reality with your mind. Your shitty reality. Manifesting isn't something to start doing. It ain't magic. It's what you're doing already. Watch this video. I just had a question saying, could you, why does manifesting feel too good to be true? Because that's your belief. And secondly, you're looking at manifesting like magic. So I don't know who the fuck you've been watching, darling. I don't know if you've been watching some woo-woo, Gabriella Bernstein, the universe will provide bullshit. But this isn't magic. And this isn't something that feels too good to be true when you realize you're doing it already. Oh my God, are you telling me I manifested my breakup with my thinking? Yes, bitch, what do you think this is? Guys, so many of you have watched so many bullshit videos and read so many bullshit books, okay, about manifestation, and I still see people peddling this absolute bullshit about manifest today, manifest in three seconds, manifest overnight, la, 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 and, and it basically puts the seed in your mind that this whole thing called manifesting is something, oh, I'm going to learn this thing to do. You're already doing it. And anyone peddling manifestation to you like it's something to start doing isn't even understanding from the fundamentals of awareness that what you're aware of will manifest. So those fucktards you're watching, like Gabriella Bernstein, and bless her, she's an idiot, don't understand that you're always manifesting. It's not something to start doing. And I'm not just talking about her. I'm talking about any law of attraction person who talks about it as something outside of you gets drawn to you or it's something to be aware of and start doing now. But it's only becoming, it's only something you become aware of. It's not something to start doing. So unless the person you're watching talks about it like, oh, now you're aware that you manifest your circumstances, that you manifest your reality. Now I'm going to teach you how to do it correctly. Sure, if you're watching people like that, great. But if you're watching people who teach it to you like it's something to start doing, and then you think, you start watching, you think, oh my God, this is too good to be true. Do you mean to tell me I can get my boyfriend back by manifesting? You lost your boyfriend by manifesting. What do you mean? I mean, the fucktards you've been watching aren't teaching you that how you manifest everything is not just positive stuff. You also manifest negative stuff, like breakups. Did they teach you that when they said the universe provides or joy is the key? Oh, no, they didn't. Well, you're watching a fucktard who doesn't understand that you manifest what you're aware of. So if you're constantly aware your boyfriend doesn't love you or he's pulling away from you or he's gone cold and then he ghosts you, you manifested that. Then you go on the internet, you look up how to manifest back my boyfriend. You find all these manifest back your specific, specific person videos. Then you start watching morons who don't understand and don't teach you that you actually manifested the breakup and the ghosting with him. Then you see it as something to start doing and something too good to be true. Oh my God, this feels like magic. Spat all over myself. Feels like magic. And then you don't realize you actually manifested the bad circumstance. So anyone who's that lost, please go and get my free mini course called Everything You've Learned About Manifesting Is Wrong. It's an in-depth video plus a very in-depth ebook explaining to you about what you are aware of will manifest. And then it goes deep into changing what you're aware of, which is your concept of self, your concept of the world, your concept of other people. And if you don't change that, the same old shit will keep manifesting and you won't realize you're the one doing it. So if you feel like it's too good to be true, either you've been watching fucktards like that or, or you've got such a bad story about yourself, darling, the person who said, I feel like manifesting is too good to be true, that you feel like anything good happening to you is too good to be true. Because you've got a dominant story that things go wrong for you, I'm not good enough, and therefore the idea of someone coming back to you that you love seems so anathema to you, you can't possibly imagine something good happening because your whole life you've had this story that bad things happen to you or I can't imagine something going well or I can't believe someone would love me as much as I love them. This is too good to be true. And let me give you the tip. When I did the one-to-one -one coaching back in the day, just online, one-to-one, -one, just us, not the ones I do now in the squad, almost every second call, the problem with the relationship and why it fell apart was because the person on the call with me started thinking, this is too good to be true. Then eventually they'd lose their person because they couldn't possibly understand why someone would love them as much as that person did or why someone would choose them or why that person wasn't leaving them. Then they started planning 
seeds in their mind of, oh, maybe they will leave, or maybe they don't love me, maybe they want other people, maybe this is too good to be true and then they'd leave. All because that person had the story, this is too good to be true, and then they manifested ghosting or leaving or breakups or whatever. Guys, this isn't too good to be true. It's what you're doing all the fucking time. You manifest your reality from the age of about seven. By the time you've formed a subconscious mind and you are consciously aware of who you are, you start to manifest your reality. Before then, you don't have any awareness. So think about a baby. It looks in the mirror. It doesn't know that that's them. Until the baby knows who it is and is aware of itself, it isn't manifesting anything. What I'm saying is you manifest from your awareness, right? So manifestation is always something you've been doing since you formed the you you are, your concept of self, probably from about the age of seven, from the time you had a subconscious mind. So if you are looking at manifestation as something woo-woo and magical and seems too good to be true, just go back a bit and realize you were actually manifesting all along all the shitty things and the good things that have happened to you thus far with your dominant thinking about yourself, the world and others. If you don't understand that, I beg you to go and get my free ebook because some of you are really fucking lost and then go back to my YouTube Mm -hmm. and watch the How to Manifest playlist because then you'll understand awareness, you'll understand what law of assumption is, that what you dominantly assume to be true about yourself and others will be true, that there's no such thing as law of attraction, there's no woo-woo bullshit universe sending you crap. That it, Like think about that logically, how illogical it is to think that something outside of you is sending you things and deciding if it's going to send it to you and when it's going to send it to you and it might not send it to you and then you'll get that or something better. It's like so dumb. Oh, yeah, it is a bit dumb to think galaxies and space and something outside of me is deciding my fate. Why am I thinking that? Probably it comes from religion, the belief that something outside of you is controlling you and you have to pay homage to it and pray to it because we don't want you to realise that what the Bible has actually told you is you are God. Because if you realised that, you wouldn't come to church and you wouldn't give us money and you wouldn't be here and we'd be useless. Oh, so the whole law of attraction thing is actually another word for God and they're using the word universe because it's less anathema to people who are atheists or not religious or don't want to think they're believing in something godly. So they say the word universe and they see it as an entity outside of them. And the idea of an entity outside of them isn't really strange to them because actually most of their childhood they heard about religion or heard about God as something outside of them. So they think this is a logical thing to believe in, even though actually believing in a God outside of you is a totally illogical thing to believe in because you are God. Oh, is that what the Bible tells you? Read it again. The universe is just another word for God, guys, and it's just a less scary way of saying it. But when they teach you it's something outside of you, you're not understanding it's always been you, your God self, source energy, whatever you want to call it, it's in you. You are doing it. You are the power. You are the operant power of your reality. It doesn't operate itself and it's not outside of you. So when you get that, you'll realize you've been doing it all along. So therefore, manifestation won't feel like something good to be too good to be true. You'll realize you're already doing it. Now you just have to operate the machinery, your God self, source within you, correctly. You've had a machine the whole time, your whole life, but you've been operating it wrong. You've been pressing the wrong buttons and doing the wrong things. Some of you didn't even have it plugged in. And now you're plugged it in and realize, fuck. I've been doing this wrong the whole time, right? Operate the machinery properly, guys, and then you'll manifest what you want. Does that make sense? All right, let's move on to questions. Hang on, guys, I'm going to the top. Oh, my God, can't wait for Monday. Yes, back and begging, dropping on Monday. And, guys, if you want to go to the YouTube now and watch my latest video, Fix Your Trust Issues in Love. If you've ever had a cheater, someone who's left you for someone else, you snoop around, you look at their phone, you can't trust them, you get triggered by them going on Instagram, you get triggered by girls liking their photos, etc. go and watch this video because you need to. Mm -hmm. It's on my YouTube now. And Monday, guys, back and begging, the ultimate Manifest Your Specific Person Back course drops in my squad. You can join the squad at subconsciouslaws.com. It's my private monthly coaching group in Facebook. You join there, you pay your $35, you can cancel any time, and you get mini courses every month. But this month, coming up on Monday, it's not a mini course, it's a focus course that goes for two months, and it's going to specifically focus on everything you guys are doing wrong to manifest back your specific person. And when you watch the first video, you'll probably sit there going, fuck, I've done everything wrong. I better go watch this video again. I had to actually watch the video three times to see if what I was saying 
was clear enough for you guys because it's so complex. Because I was trying to explain to you all the ways you've been taught this wrong. Right? And when you watch that video and you do the accompanying workbook, you'll be like, oh, fuck me. That's why they're not back. I'm actually focusing on completely the wrong thing. Oh, Jenna, thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. For my birthday, I bought Psycho Cybernetics. Oh, wonderful, Ryan. That's a great book. I saw a fuckwit on um, um, the few page describing it completely wrong the other day and then he started talking about the universe and I was like, dude, read the book again. When does he ever describe the universe in that book? He's talking about self-image. You moron. And everyone's like, oh, wow, yes. It's exactly what the book's about. No, it's not. Oh, thank you for the duck. Never, ugh, never listen to anyone's opinion except my imagination and the end. Wonderful, that's a good darling. Living in the end what it really means and how to do it. Okay, well, we'll do another video on that another time, guys. We've already done the laws lesson. Hang on. I tell people this sounds crazy to them. Yes, good. Let them think it's crazy. Don't worry about them. How to manifest money. I've got plenty of videos on that, guys. I can't wait to have kids to teach them how powerful their thoughts are. Yes, exactly, darling. Can I manifest to not think about my childhood abuse? I always get flashbacks. Well, darling, maybe go and see a therapist about that if you can possibly do it. Have you gone to therapy? If not, the best thing to do would be to sit down and write letters to all the people who hurt you and get all the feelings out, all the things you wish you could have said and sit them down in front of you as if they're in a chair and you read out loud what you want to say. And every time those thoughts come back to you, you can revise the thoughts so you can go back to the memory just before it happened. If you're about to have a flashback, imagine it differently. Imagine the person didn't come into your room. Imagine a policeman turned up. Imagine they didn't hurt you. Imagine the accident didn't happen, whatever it is, and replay the new memory the way you wish it would have gone over and over in your mind until that new memory seems correct. Go and watch all my videos on abuse or on revision, darling. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, my God, I need to watch that video. I'll be back. Yes. I 100% manifest our separation due to me not getting ready, so now I'm working to manifest it back. Do it, darling. Third party, I know we are meant to be. Third party what? What are you cause the third party? What are you talking about? Go and do my third party sleep tape. It has nothing to do with the third party. Stop focusing on her. You can say you're meant to be all you like, darling, but if you, have you uncovered your self-concept issues that caused her to come along? I bet you fucking haven't. I bet this is the first time you've ever watched me and you think I'm going to give you the magic answer, do you, to how you get your person back because you feel you're meant to be. You can feel you're meant to be all you like. She probably thinks they're meant to be. You caused her. Are you understanding you caused the third party with your dominant thoughts of being not good enough or other girls being competition or not being able to trust him and now she's come along and if you you can think he's you're meant to be all you like, it, he literally won't come back with that thinking. I'm sorry. You've got to uncover why she came along. What were you thinking about you? What were you thinking about him? Get in the squad, darling, and on Monday I drop back and begging and I'll teach you what you've done wrong there. It's only 35 bucks. Guys, if you're having real trouble manifesting back your specific person, I'm telling you right now, I almost sent that video to Sasha to say, does this make sense? Because I'm, I'm, I'm literally going against everything you guys have ever been taught about manifesting back a specific person. I really wanted to make it clear so you guys understood it because some of you will watch it and just feel bad afterwards. I don't mean that to be awful, but like you'll sit there and think, I have literally been taught this wrong by every other creator I've watched. And I don't mean to shit on other people, but I teach you what Neville taught. And most people aren't teaching you that. And when you watch the first part, you'll go, fuck. Everything Loz is saying not to do, I have been doing because that's what I've been taught to do. Jesus. That's why it's not back. And if you go to my free Facebook group and read all the success stories where people got their specific person back, there's now libraries, guys, in the album section, like got specific person back, marriage, engagement. They all did the same thing. They do what I teach you in Back and Begging that's dropping on Monday, okay? So if you're really lost about manifesting back to a specific person and you say things on people's things like, what am I doing wrong? I'll tell you what you're doing wrong and I'll teach you how to fix it, okay? And it goes for two months. Oh, wow! darling oh my god you said how i got fireworks <laughs> couldn't even read the comments what's this user everyone's saying congratulations what did i miss what did i miss a carriage yes a pram a stroller whatever you guys call it thanks Loz. we'd love to come back to living in the end topic next time i'm so excited for you
or Monday. Yes, darling. So look, all living in the end is, is what you're doing right now. Living in the end of your new self-concept. Living in the end of being with your person. Living in the end of being happily married. Uh, you want to join the live, do you? She has to be involved. Come here. Show the people yourself. Mm-hmm. Want to say hello? Oh, look at that face. Look at that pretty face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Loz, I got my SP back. He's legit obsessed with me. It's insane. I am his number one priority too. Ah, what That's what everyone's congratulating you about. Ah, of course you are, darling. What did you do? Tell us. Um, How did you do it? She listened to everything I fucking said. But yes, she can tell us how she did it. Loz, can you give me some affirmations to become a model and get modeling opportunities, please? I love being a model. People think I'm so gorgeous. When I walk down the street, I get scouted all the time and I have to say, oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm already, already with Ford or I'm already with IMG or whatever the IMG, whatever the big name agencies are. Just imagine you're already with an agency, you already get booked. Imagine being so booked up, you travel the world and you barely see your family. That's what a happy model would be, a person who's, like, booked up, right? Thank you, Jenna. So just visualize what that life would look like doing. Affirmations for weight loss, please. Well, darling, I have a course called Manifest Your Dream Body. That would really help you. It's in my mini course section on my website, but you've got to uncover why you don't feel good enough to have the body you want. It's not just about affirmations for weight loss. Weight is falling off me. I'm wonderfully thin. You can fucking say that all you like, but why don't you think you're good enough to lose weight? Why do you think you're fat and keep staying fat? It's, it's a whole lot of other issues. It's not about losing the weight. I could be affirmations. The cows come home. Probably won't do much. But you've got to see yourself in the new body, but also understand why you don't feel worthy of the new body. Go and do that course, darling. It'll really help you. He came back saying, nobody is me. Nobody compares to me. And we called for two hours. Nobody compares to you. Was that one of your affirmations? Love it. How do I manifest loving my beauty? I have an assumption that people don't think I'm beautiful. Well, Yolanda, start saying you are and uncover where that came from. Did someone just make a off-colour remark or something to you as a child or made you feel not beautiful because they compared you to other girls or they were anorexic in your reality and they had issues with their beauty and then it got foisted onto you? Where's that come from? When you can uncover it, then you'll realise it's not even your thoughts. It's somebody else gave you those shitty thoughts about you. Then you can start saying you're beautiful and stand in front of the mirror every day and tell yourself you are. Tell yourself you can't ruin your manifestation. Everything is working out for you regardless. Exactly, darling. I love that. I'm going to heat up my coffee, guys, while I talk to you because I'm standing right next to the microwave and I can. Oh! I'm excited because I have not finished my coffee this morning. I'm half asleep. Um, 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 hang on, guys. Loz, my boyfriend came back over the weekend and told me his mum had cancer. He's really down. What affirmation? Oh, no, darling. Look. Just imagine her healthy. Imagine now a conversation where it comes to you and tells you that how healthy she is and it's prognosis negative and they got it all wrong and everything's gone and whatever they thought was there isn't there. Now, the amount of times people get prognoses, they work on themselves, they see themselves as healthy, they do sleep tapes, they affirm that they're healthy, they go back and the doctor goes, oh, it's all gone. I don't know what you've done. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. Imagine him telling you, oh, my God, she's got nothing wrong with her. Mm-hmm. And if, if she's into it, tell him to give her my Joseph Murphy healing prayer sleep tape. It's heal your body overnight. That's what it's called. And she can listen to it every night, download, and heal her body overnight. Well, I was at a very good self-concept last few days, got distracted by 3D yesterday, had to fix it. How to fix it? Guys, if you're really distracted by the 3D, if the reality out here keeps putting you off, Go and get my Fuck the 3D course. It's like the most revolutionary course I've ever done because people who thought they had got a handle on their self-concept and got a handle on looking at the 3D were really shocked by how much they weren't getting a handle on the thinking. You've got to go within more, darling, and stop looking without. And whenever you get thrown, go back to your new thinking. No, I am loved. Of course he loves me. He's texting me right now. He loves to text me. We talk all day. Blah, 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 whatever it is. Get access to back and begging very affordably. Yes, guys. So if you come and join the squad now, Subconscious Laws Squad, it's only $35. And in that, you get back and begging dropping on Monday. It's a two-month course, okay? I go in-depth, four videos teaching you how to manifest your specific person back step by fucking step about changing the story about you and them that has fucked it up in the first place and all the things you're doing wrong that other creators have taught you that have caused you not to get them back. 
each of the four videos has an accompanying workbook with tasks. Then in the second month, I'm going to give you a whole load of MP3s to saturate your mind to change the thoughts of your person and change the thoughts of you. So by the end of the two months, you are completely in the state of loved and wanted by them, right? And then we'll see as we go along, just like with every other focus course I've done and every other mini course, all the success stories coming in and you will be a success story. As long as you stick to what I'm saying, okay? Because you've got to do it the way I'm teaching you because if you're doing it the other way, and when you watch the first video, you'll realize what, what the other way is that everyone teaches you. You'll be like, fuck, that's what I've been doing, right? I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you watch part one again because you'll watch it. It goes for 26 minutes, probably one of my longest videos I've ever recorded for a mini course or a course. And you'll go, what did she just say? I'm doing all of that. I've got to go back and watch it again. And then it will really sink in. You'll be like, fuck, I was doing all of those things wrong shit right it's only 35 bucks guys plus when you're in there you also get make them obsessed so that's a great thing to do hand in hand manifest back your specific person back and begging and man uh, make them obsessed will go hand in hand with each other then you get mentor help in the q a forum every day you go live with me on a friday i can answer your questions like this every single friday in the squad so i'm doing it tonight so if you get in tonight you will get me answering the questions like this in the squad on a Friday. It's normally about 9 p.m. EST or 10 p.m. EST and about five, uh, about 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. Australian time, which is about 10 or 11 a.m. UK time. So I do two sessions on a Friday. Plus, you can watch me coaching every couple of weeks, coaching people live. And you can watch back every single replay I've done of all the live coaching. So you can watch me in-depth doing video coaching with people who've done my courses. Okay, then you can get help in the Q&A forum. And it's a lovely supportive community in there, guys. It really is. So you get all those benefits plus bag and begging dropping on Monday. All right, it's a no-brainer to join now because at the end of the two months, we take out the courses. So normally they go for a month. This one will go for two. We'll take it out and it will go on my website for like 20 times the price. So you may as well come and join the squad now and get all the other benefits plus the course. Um, 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 hang on, guys. Is it on Facebook for the squad? So you go to subconsciouslaws.com or my link tree. You go, you go to the squad section, you sign up, it's $35. Then it, it gives you a link to press to go request to join the Facebook group. Then when you put in your request, you've got to put in your email that you bought your $35 membership with and your name in Facebook so we know who you are. Because your name on Facebook might be Joe Bloggs, but your name's really Sarah Smith and you don't want anyone to know who you are. So you've got a different Facebook name. So you're going to be very clear. So when Jenna enters you into the squad, you've got to give it about 48 to 72 hours Will not, you will know it's you and there's no mistakes, okay? You can cancel any time, guys, honestly. It's the best 35 bucks you'll ever spend. There's so much support in there. It's like nuts that I'm even charging that little, right? But the way we make it affordable for you guys is pulling those courses out once they're finished and putting them on the website. Otherwise, we'd have to charge way more for the membership. Like if I kept the course in there permanently, the membership would probably be about $200 a month, $250, right? but I'm trying to keep it as affordable as possible so everyone can join and there's no excuses. How did I manifest him to do everything but for another girl? Because you've got a story that he won't do it for you. You've got a story that you don't deserve that, that you're not worthy, that you're not enough, that you put him on a pedestal and he's put her on a pedestal and he wants her and not you. What stories have you got? I'm taking a wild stab in the dark there as that's why that's turned up. But what stories have you got about her, him wanting her more, and what stories have you got about you? Change those, that's why. Sorry, what was the Heal Your Health audio? Is it that a download? No, it's on my, well, there is a Manifest Health course. So she can go and get Manifest Health. It's actually a mini course of mine in the squad, uh, sorry, in the squad, on my website, $95. She can go do that, okay? Or um, you can actually go to my YouTube and go to the Manifest Healing Overnight Sleep Tape. It's a sleep tape that goes overnight and you listen to it all night. And there's also a health affirmations one. So in my eight-hour sleep tape playlist and in my affirmations playlist, there's two different health videos. But there's also the Manifest Health mini course. Um, hang on, guys. I can see people joining the squad right now. Mm, she goes live in the group every Friday. So, guys, if you get in the squad today, you can join me for Friday squad Q&A. It's probably about 9 p.m. or around 10 p.m. EST if you're in America. And tonight, today, if you're in Australia or the UK or Europe, I'll be going live probably about 
11 a.m. UK time, which is about 8 p.m. Australian time, right? And I go live and answer your questions like this. But because it's Facebook and it's not restricted comments, you can write an essay. You can sit in your notes during the day, write me a whole question and write me a fucking essay this long and I have to read it and I'll answer it for you. And then you can watch it back afterwards. You just go back, watch it back. It's not like this. You can't watch this straight back. You've got to wait till I put this, this particular video on my YouTube next week, right? So go into the squad and you'll be able to watch every single replay of every single live I've ever done plus all the coaching. So you just go into the search bar and put coaching or live and you can watch them all back. They'll all come up in the search bar in the squad. Okay, and then you can ask your questions. But come and join us tonight. Join the squad. Oh, wonderful, Bridger. Lol, if it was all of our courses, it'd be way more than 200, like a few grand for them all to stay. Oh, yeah, that's true, Jenna, actually, it would be. <laughs> a couple of grand a month. Thanks. I'm not good with Facebook. Does it give us an alert? I'm new. Well, the only way you're going to get alerts, guys, is if you set up your Facebook properly. So if you come and pin my group, so pin the group, that's the one way to do it. Follow me, me, the creator, Lauren Steenholt, me, the person on Facebook. So every time I post anything, you'll see an alert because you're following me. There's ways to make Facebook groups more useful for you. Now, the other thing is the actual courses are in the guides section of the Facebook group. So if you have no idea about Facebook groups and you don't know how to use them, maybe go and watch a video on YouTube about how to use Facebook groups so you find where the guides are, how to pin the group, how to get notifications, all those things, okay, and turn your notifications on because we can't be blamed for you not getting notifications when your notifications are turned off, right? And, guys, if you want to follow me here, put your bell on here and have your notifications on here so every time I go live, You'll know, but also if you just join my free Facebook group, guys, it doesn't have back and begging in it or any of the mini courses. You can just join my free Facebook group, Subconscious Laws. Just come over to Facebook now, join Subconscious Laws free group, and I always give you a notification in there and in the squad before I go live here. Okay. Um, hey, Laws, are your courses discounted for those that sign up for your squad? Not the major courses, but the mini courses. Yes, so the mini courses will be. Also, we're having a library coming out soon of a whole lot of books, and those will be discounted for squad members. So you get a squad code. It's inside the squad, and Fuck the 3D has a squad code. All the mini courses have a squad code, but not, not my main course, not self-concept and not um, Worthy A for Love because they're my major courses, okay? Um... I was stupid enough to pay $800 elsewhere for a month of limited coaching before I found you. If you know, you know. Holy shit balls. For a month. <laughs> and my group's 35 bucks. Well, whoever that bitch is has got really, really good money mindset because she's ripping everyone off. Unless it was really intensive one-to-one -one coaching, I can understand her. Like, if she was doing group coaching with you on Zooms and stuff, darling, then $800 is worth it if she's a good coach. But if it was just like a Facebook group and you're paying that much and you didn't get much out of it, that's an absolute ripoff. Our, fast, our last focus course is $245. It's a no-brainer to get back and begging for two months of squad. Yeah, so Fuck the 3D, which was our last focus course that went for two months, for you to do it for the two months, it would have cost you $35 plus $35, right? Or just join... And get like 35, right? Get the first month or whatever. Then it goes on my website. Then you'll kick yourself because you'll see the amount of success stories that come from back and begging. All the people getting their specific person back. And you'll be like, fuck, I could have done that for 35 bucks. Shit. And that's what happened with Fuck the 3D. A whole lot of people were joining Fuck the, at the squad at the last week of Fuck the 3D and all miss Fuck the 3D. And they're all getting annoyed. And we're taking it out two weeks ago. And we said, we told you two weeks ago we we're taking it out. Oh, but I missed it. You've had it in here for two months. But what happened was I started seeing all the success stories. Oh, my God, fuck, the 3D was so revolutionary. Oh, my God, I didn't realise how bad my mental diet was. Oh, my God, my specific person came back when I did that course. And they all went, oh, I want to come in. But then it was too late. So don't, jump in now, guys, before those success stories come in because it's really annoying when the success stories coming out, you go, oh, I could have joined before. Right? I'm just warning you because it'll happen with this course as well because it always does. Hey, Loz, are your course I saw the one? What's this advice for OCD? Stop saying you have it, darling. Stop saying you have it. When does it drop? On Monday, darling. Laws, I manifest the flat I'm sitting on a week ago with the squad. I'm so proud of myself. I have a flat you're sitting in. Oh, wonderful, darling. You did that. Wonderful. When you're in the squad, can you save the courses for going back for reviewing? So you can download the mini books, like the e-books, and watch the video. But watch the videos straight away because you can't download the videos, but you can download the books. Mm-hmm. So make sure you do it in the time limit. 
Loz, I got scammed by someone on TikTok for $2,000. How can I fix this? Oh, no, darling. Just imagine getting the money back. Imagine either some way getting the money back in another way or getting it directly from that person. Imagine the money back in your bank. Imagine them, you hear they get arrested or something and you get the money back from the police or so something. But just imagine the money back. You don't have to know the how. Just imagine the money back. Okay? I've lost money before and then imagine just getting it back and got it back in a different way. Not directly from the person who took the money from me. I just got it in another way. Right? Just imagine the money back and it will happen. Um, hang on. I found you via group coaching chat via that coach. Oh, did you? <laughs> really? That's funny. I need the course. I manifest SP coming in but not staying. I need to figure out what I'm doing wrong. Right. So this course is not just for manifesting them back if you've already lost them. It's also for if they've come back or if you're in a relationship with someone currently, you haven't lost them, but you feel like you're going to, okay? It'll cover all of that because what I'll uncover for you is the thoughts you're thinking that are reflecting to them and they're now reflecting back to you. So it went great. They came in great and now it's starting to turn or they came back and now they're not the version you want. This course will fix it, I promise. Right? Back and begging will also work on things not SP related. I've had others back and begging. Yes, guys, look, when you start working on your self-concept, you'll have all kinds of people giving you attention. Trust me, it's freaky sometimes. I need the course manager. Oh, yeah. He texts me every morning and I see him maybe once a week. He works a lot. I want more. What do I do? Well, do you have a story that you don't get prioritised? Do you have a story you're not good enough? Right? So if you've got a story that you're not prioritised, they won't prioritise you and they'll prioritise their work or they'll be too busy for you. If you've got a story that you're not good enough and they don't want you and they want others, they won't give you the time. Or you've got a story you don't get time and attention, they won't give you the time. So what's your story about you? That's what you've got to work out. Change that and then they'll change because they can only reflect you guys, reflecting you. Not We're not we're pushing out what we think about ourselves. Personally, I stopped talking about my love life with my friends. Yes, please do, guys. Loz, I love you. Oh, Ebony, thank you, darling. He is in my reality, but not the version I want. Well, that's what the course is about, darling. That's what back and begging is about. Will the course help? Yes, darling. It'll make you realise why he's turned up as the version he is and what thoughts you have had that have caused that version. Then he'll change because you'll start changing those thoughts. You'll reflect those thoughts to him and he'll change. Trust me. Yeah, you're all messy. Yeah, let's not talk about coaches in here, guys, honestly. What's the difference between high self-concept and egoistic? What are you talking about, uh, darling? There's nothing egoistic about liking yourself. You're getting that from some kind of story that when you were a kid, you had to be pious or follow a religion or not big note yourself or not build yourself up or not think too much of yourself because your parents put this idea in your head that that's ego. Why is liking yourself or being worthy egoistic? That's ridiculous. So that's some weird belief you've got from parents. Concept just means your ideas about yourself. Good ideas about yourself. That's a bad thing, is it? Having good ideas about yourself. That seems nuts to me that you would think that. Having good ideas about myself is egoistic. What? What do you want me to do? Go around my whole life thinking I'm a piece of shit. Yes, that's much better. What? Squad is a no-brainer. The value is sky high. Yes. <laughs> when does back and begging come back? What do you mean come back? It's literally dropping. It's never come out. It's coming out on Monday. Monday, US time, morning time, okay? So it'll be, no, hang on. So it'll be Sunday, you know, if it's Monday night my time, it'll be Monday morning, US time, Monday. Mm -hmm. And Monday night, Australian time. Thank you, Sarah, darling. Do you think... Wait to do Fuck the 3D while waiting for Back and Begging if you did self-concept course. Well, look, do Back and Begging if you want and Fuck 3D at the same time. It'll help you. Fuck the 3D will really help you right now if you keep getting affected by the 3D. Guys, you can do all my courses in conjunction. It really doesn't matter. They all fit together. It's up to you the way you want to do it, darling. Um, do we have any? What's this? Baha, ha, ha, I was like, that's not how you manifest. What are we talking about? <laughs> oh, God, where am I? True confidence isn't egoistical. Yes, exactly. 
because I put boundaries with SP and he was like, you are so egoistic and I'm working on my self-concept. I don't teach you to put boundaries. You need to go and watch my YouTube called don't set a boundary with your specific person. You're doing a whole lot of shit out loud, darling, thinking he's the problem, causing him to do something different out here. You're doing it all wrong and you're wondering why he's turning around saying, God, you're up yourself because you've got a story that he's doing things wrong. You can't set a boundary with him, darling. He's reflecting you. Do you go and set a boundary with your mirror in the morning when you look like shit because you woke up hungover? You haven't watched enough of my videos, have you? Or if you have, you really haven't listened to me. Oh, so what I do, Loz, is I listen to you and I listen to you telling me to go within and change myself. What I'm actually doing is trying to change my specific person by setting boundaries with them. Well, I don't teach you to do anything like that. You're not really listening, are you? Oh, I'm just doing what I've always done, but kind of listening to you. Go and watch all my videos, darling. You're very lost. No wonder he reacted like that. Because you've probably got a story that you'll upset him when you set a boundary, so he's got upset. <laughs> he's reflecting you, darling. I don't know what to tell you. You're doing this all tits up, ass over tit wrong. Go and watch my do not set a boundary with your specific person video on YouTube, please. I'm fucking begging you. It's about five videos back. It's in this playlist called Why It's Not Manifesting. You need to watch it because you, you, I don't know who you've been watching. If anyone's told you to set a boundary, they are not a manifestation coach. They're a reality changing coach they're a therapist they're a fuckwit how do i know if it's my self-concept or story of him that creates unfavorable behavior from sp darling the story of him came from the story of you how did you come up with that story that he's unfavorable that he's a fuck boy that he's a player that he doesn't love you that's your story about you it's always a story about you once you change the story about you the story about him naturally changes however in back of begging we do focus on the story of them and how that came about from us but yes you do have to change the story of both Squad is $35 monthly. Back and begging is going to be released over two months. Yes, that's right. How will salt and pepper in water will change my thinking? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> is it okay to say Mrs. Me? Sure, darling, as long as that doesn't give you the illusion of separation, makes you think you're separate. Don't do it then if you're doing that. I used to get so triggered by a lot, but now I don't, and I feel so much happier. Oh, good, Lucy. So back and begging is only $35. Yes, over the two months. So if you stay there for the two months, it's two lots of $35. Right? When I recorded the first video, I was like, this is so eye-opening. This needs to be, like, even more extended because I'm giving you so much vital information that so many of you won't have heard. I was like, this actually needs to be a longer course because so many of you are doing this wrong that I'm not even sure if two months of it is actually enough. <laughs> I'll think about it. It might have to be a more extended course than what, it, than what Fuck the 3D was. I'll show you, Jenna. I'll show you, Jenna, the video, and you can tell me because it's a really, really long video and there's so many tasks in the first workbook. It's like it might have to be a more extended course, actually, so I can fit it all in. Anyway. Um, I used to get so, oh, good, darling. I'm glad you're not getting triggered. Wait a minute. Who is Holly? What are we talking about? Who is Holly? Is the squad auto charge or do I have to re-enter every month? It's auto charge, but you can cancel it. You just go into your back end of the website and cancel any time. It's not up to us to cancel. Do a course with Sasha. Yes, do a course with Sasha too. Loz, did you see Holly's update? I did. How amazing. I, poor Holly, like Holly, this girl in our squad, had coaching with me. She then came back into the squad and started asking questions, not based on what I taught her. I went off my fucking brain at her in a comment section once and said, um, and said, you're not listening to what I said in the fucking coaching. Go back and watch it. Because if you do coaching with me, guys, you can go back and watch it. And she just wasn't listening to me. And I was like, you're reacting to 3D. You're reacting to 3D. You're not listening to what I said. Now she's got a recipe back. <laughs> and when she had the call, it looked hopeless, like beyond hopeless like the worst story you've ever heard like she was living with him she invited this woman to come live with them he started having an affair with the woman the woman and him kicked her out she had nowhere to live it was a whole it was awful don't want to go into her old story but she has really turned it around she's amazing amazing i remember holly yeah remember holly is amazing i know holy crap so amazing i was so cool to see her update like holy crap i know i was so proud so proud Best course for self-concept. Well, it depends what you understand about it already. If you don't know what self-concept means and you don't understand your reticular activating system or thought reflection or the basics, go and get self-concept course. And it will give you 
All right, okay, Jenna's talking to me out loud on the WhatsApp. So it will give you the basics of self-concept plus an assessment to assess your self-concept and the tools to fix it. However, if you're just focusing on love and you already know what self-concept is, then go and get Worthy AF for love. That's more intensive, more advanced, and also has a three-part assessment to assess your concept of yourself in love specifically. Can you go live with Sasha? I will one day, darling, I will, I promise. We have gone, gone live once before in my Facebook group. You can go and watch it. It's on my YouTube. What is wrong with you? Oh, far out. You want to go outside. So because the dog is standing at the front door, she wants to go outside. You want to go outside. What's the problem? I want to watch it. Yeah, go to the YouTube. I don't know what one it's called. What's it called? Do I say Sasha in it? Do I say live with Sasha? I don't think I do. He gets what he wants from me, then puts me in the friend zone. Oh, God. And I got so mad. Well, what are you getting so mad for, Sudi? Your self-concept sounds like it's in the fucking toilet, Sudi. You sound like you need to go and watch every single solitary video I've ever done about self-concept, every single video I've ever done with friends with benefits because you're not understanding he's reflecting you. So you can set a boundary all you like about how you don't want to sleep with him and not have a relationship. And all he's going to do is reflect your unbelievable shitty self-concept that you get used. Please go and watch all my videos, Sudi. You sound fucking lost. You need to go and do my self-concept course or better still do Worthy AF for Love because I can't fucking help you if you're coming in here telling me that you've got yourself in a friends of benefit situation and he uses you for sex but you're not understanding. You've got a story that he uses you for sex. You've got a story you get used. You've got a story that you get friend zoned and you're not enough for him and he's going to treat you badly and so he is. So you can set every boundary you fucking like, Sudi, and he's just going to treat you like shit until you get some fucking self-worth and change your concept of him and yourself. Go and watch every single video I've ever done because you are beyond lost and you can fucking set a boundary all you like with him, darling, and all he's going to do is keep fucking you and friend zoning you and he'll probably just go and pick another girl and you'll set all the boundaries in the world and you go back to him, why have you chosen her? And he won't be able to say to her because she's got some good self-concept about herself and she doesn't feel like she's going to be used and she feels good enough. He'll just go, I don't want you, I want her. Or he'll go, sorry, let's be friends. And you'll go, <gasps> And you won't realise he's been reflecting you the whole fucking time. Start at the beginning, darling. Go and get my free course. Then get the self-concept course if you can because you sound like you've never watched me in your whole life and you're making every fucking mistake you could possibly make with him and you're blaming him for your reflection. God damn it. Every time I set a boundary in the 3D, they never listen because they're reflecting you. If you got up in the morning and you set a boundary with your mirror and told your mirror to put your makeup on for you, what would it do? Would it do it? They're your reflection, guys. I just, I despair that people are still telling you guys to set boundaries. It makes me feel sick to my stomach. Go and watch the set, don't set boundaries with your SP video, Sudie, please. Loz is a quaint. Oh, thank you, darling. She's right. I know I am. I have been working on my self-concept. Well, you haven't fucking worked hard enough, darling. That's why I put boundaries. That's no more. I have other options. Oh, fuck me, Sudi. I don't know. Sudi, bless you, darling, but I don't know who you've been watching. And if you've been watching me about self-concept, you haven't really heard me, have you? Working on self-concept. What are you working on? Because I tell you right now, you've obviously been working on all the wrong shit. You aren't working on your I'm not good enough stuff. You aren't working on the I get friend zone stuff. You're not working on the I get used stuff. You've been watching either a complete fuckwit or when I talk, you're not really listening. And you've got a story that he's going to choose other people over you because you've got a story about yourself that you're not enough. So you can set a boundary all you like and tell him you've got other options and he won't give two shits. He's probably laughing at your stupid text you sent where you went, I don't want to be treated like an option because I've got other options. He's probably showing all his friends, look at this fucking psychopath. Oh, she thinks she's got other options. I know she's obsessed with me. I know she goes on manifestation videos and talks about me incessantly. She's a dumb bitch. And he thinks she'll be back. She'll fuck me later. Am I being harsh enough yet, Sudi? For you to understand that you're blaming him for your reflection. He can't do anything but reflect your enormously bad self-concept that you haven't bothered to go and uncover what it really is. You can go and do all the affirmations in the world, but it sounds to me like you've never done my self-concept course because no one who's actually been assessed by me and done the full self-concept assessment would ever come into my chat and tell me that they were dumb enough to set a boundary with their SP and tell them they had options. You haven't done any of my actual courses, have you? Because if you had, you would never write something like that. 
you haven't been working on your self-concept the way I would teach you to do it because you don't even know what your self-concept even is. So don't come in here telling me you've worked on your fucking self-concept when it's clear to me that your self-concept is so far down the toilet that guy is probably laughing at the boundary you set. And I say that because you're not really listening and you're coming in here trying to argue with me, telling me I am doing it. Yeah, but you know what your concept of self is? Oh, I have no idea. How can you work on it then? <sighs> Guys, honestly, some of you think self-concept is this magic thing. If I just say I'm loved, if I just say I'm chosen, bing, it's going to work. Yes, but what do you actually think about yourself? That's what you need to change. I don't know. I have no idea. Well, why do you think I have assessments in my courses? Oh, is that why you assess us? Yes, because you have no idea who you think you are. Most of you have no idea. It's subconscious. Why do you think I'm calling myself subconscious laws? Most of you have no idea what you're unconsciously, subconsciously thinking about yourselves. You don't have a fucking clue. Your dominant thoughts are what manifest. Amen, brother. I mean, seriously. I mean, sister. <laughs> Amen. Well, keep saying self-concept is on fleek and not going for help. Um, nice. So I'm getting your mini courses. Will they work on self-concept? Well, Hayley, look, they work on the specific thing you're trying to manifest and they all involve self-concept. But if you really want to get to the depths of your actual self-concept issues, go and do the self-concept course or the Worthy for Love course with the assessments. But yes, the mini courses will help with those specific things and they all talk about self-concept. But if you don't even know what self-concept is or you don't even know what you're problems are then I would do the self-concept course I've been affirming that I am chosen I am loved he wants me Sudi you can say that all you like but guess what it's all focused on him he wants me him 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 doing it all wrong Sudi come and get back and begging in the squad you're doing it all wrong and I can't help you because you're fucking lost as hell the whole thing you're focusing on him that's not changing your self-concept, saying, he loves me, he loves me, he loves me, I'm loved, I'm loved, he, him, 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 That's what you're doing, and that's what so many of you do, and that's what Back and Begging's about, and you'll watch the first video of Back and Begging, and you'll go, fuck, that's what I've been doing. Self-concept course and add on unshakable confidence. Ah, oh, yes, Jenna, I love that. Do self-concept course plus unshakable confidence. That'll bloody bring your confidence up. Laws, I've already figured out what my real self-concept is and I'm affirming it, right? Wonderful, that's wonderful. Thank you, Jenna. Oh my God, I finally made it to one of your lives. Aha, I love you. Oh, thank you, darling. Your metaphors are amazing. Oh yes, Dylan, what, what was Dylan's metaphor? What did you say? Uh, what did Dylan say? I missed it. No one's changed but self, unfortunately, or fortunately. Yes, or fortunately. Exactly, guys. It's great when you realise you can't, you don't have to change them, you just change you. How convenient. You don't have any control over them. That's great. Lois, don't forget your coffee in the microwave. Oh, it's here and it's gone cold already. <laughs> Thank you, darling. I'll hit up again. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, I love these lives. They're so entertaining. Oh, thank you, darling. Where can I get the course? So... Self-concept course is on my website, Sudi. I'm glad you're listening. So go and do my free course first, as well as the self-concept. So press the free button and get the free course. You get on my newsletter, right? Then go to the courses section and get either Worthy as Fuck for Love or Self-concept. If you really are really wanting to focus on love and it's love you really care about, just go straight to Worthy AF for Love. Otherwise, do the self-concept course. It's in the courses section. So my two major courses, Worthy AF for Love and A Kick-Ass You. Okay, darling? And I promise you, you'll understand this. And come and join the squad if you can do it. I'm excited to watch the Success Live next week. Yes. Oh, is it going to be next week, the Success Live? I saw Lindsay's story. I'd never even seen Lindsay's story when Sarah was saying, yeah, usually Lindsay's saying she wanted to go live. I, it's such an amazing story. I'm dying to hear it. Oh, thank you, Jenna. I've also been listening to your sleep tapes every night, but they give me bad nightmares. It's just your brain fighting you, darling. Just push through. It doesn't matter. It gives me nightmares too sometimes. It gives me, I turn it off even. Thank you, Loz. We'll do it. Okay, good, Sudi. Good. I'm sorry I went off at you, darling, but you've got to understand that all he is doing is reflecting you. And if you can come and join the squad and do back and begging with us on Monday, you'll be like, you, honestly, guys, when you watch the part one video, some of you, some of you won't, some of you already know my teachings. Some of you will watch that video and be like the emoji 
that with the brain exploding and be like, fuck, that's why they're not back. I've done everything she's just saying that is the thing to do wrong. Then you're going to have to go back and watch it again and really listen. Have you guys ever watched a movie like Lost Highway? Oh, I knew that. Oh. <laughs> Remember, I don't know if you've ever watched Lost Highway or any of those shows from the guy who made Twin Peaks. And you get to the end of the movie and you're like, what just happened? I'm so confused. And you have to go back and watch the whole thing. That's what part one of Manifest All the Things, and Manifest All the Things, back and begging is going to be like. Some of you might be like, hang on, what are you saying? Everything I've done is wrong. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I have to go back. I just have to listen to you again because I'm really confused about, oh, everything everyone else is teaching is wrong. Fuck. And watch, then everyone will start saying what I'm saying in that video <laughs> in a couple of months. Just watch. Let's not manifest that, but it happens. I feel your videos are like, what is... <laughs> What is my self-concept? I think I have a competition at work and in love that other people are competition to you, that you're not enough as you are, darling. Stop saying that. I could tell you one thing. I appreciate your honesty and how you explain it. Oh, good. Thank you, darling. Us, when we do part one of Back and Begging, yes, guys. Honestly, I had to watch it again to try and see if what I'd said made sense. And I tried to send it to Sasha. I said to Sasha, I'll send it to you in WhatsApp and I, you can tell me if it makes sense. And then I said, oh, I can't send you this longer video in, in WhatsApp. It's 26 minutes. It would only let me send like three minutes worth. Oh, God damn it. My hair flipping up. Like over and over, lol. Sorry, Loz. What's this? I blanked on the movie. Yeah, what are you talking about? Manifest SP back, still work on self-concept. He called but then randomly ended the call in the middle. Oh, we'll just decide that he doesn't do that. He was just busy. He had something Elsie was doing, something was urgent. Don't worry about it, darling. Don't give it bad meaning. Don't give it bad meaning. Can you explain the concept of a purge? I've heard about this but don't understand. All it means is, and it's just a belief that some people have, that old stuff starts playing out that you used to think before the good stuff comes in or all the old thoughts you had are made manifest in your reality before the other good stuff comes that you're now thinking. It doesn't necessarily have to happen. It just happens to some people. If you believe it's going to happen to you, fuck me, watch, it'll happen. So don't believe it. Give it the meaning. He talked to you for so long he wanted to be, yeah, that, that, he, that his phone died. Yes, Dylan. He, he talked to you for so long because he wanted to and then his phone died. That's a great meaning to give it. I blanked on the movie. What are we talking about? You're talking about Lost Highway? Um, any more questions, guys? I wasn't going to go because I've got so much shit to do for back and begging. In the middle, I was talking. It makes me feel like he was bored and not interested. Darling, his phone just ran out of bats. Give it that meaning. Honestly, you're giving it terrible meaning. Why are you doing that? That's about your self-concept. Work on that, please. All right, guys. Please do come and join me in the squad. Back and Begging will be, I promise you, one of my most popular courses. It'll go on my website in two months' time. And if you miss out, it'll be like three times the price. Please come and join us because I swear to God, just part one, you'll get so much out of because that one video is going to explain so many things to you that you're doing wrong. What's this? Lost my therapist said, I'm obsessed with my SP. I need medication. Well, your, your therapist probably is right about the being obsessed with your SP because you're probably going in there and talking all about them all day and not talking about yourself. Is your therapist so thick that they're not making you change your talk and talk about you and psychoanalyzing you? What kind of dumb therapist are you going to? You can medicate yourself all you like, darling, but all it's going to do is numb out your brain. But is your therapist actually helping you with your issues about yourself? You, you sound like you need a new therapist. Medications aren't going to help you, darling, right now, unless she helps you with it. I was talking to someone last night whose ex-boyfriend was on medication, depression medication, for 17 years without being doing it in conjunction with a therapist, and he's fucked. And he's so addicted to his medication he can't go off it, and he's in his 50s. And he's never once been made to go to a therapist at the same time. How fucked up is that? And if he misses a day, he has a heart attack about it. And yet if he'd gone to a therapist, a good one, he wouldn't even need the fucking medication. If he'd listened to me, he wouldn't have needed it in the first place. The departed. Oh, I've never seen that one. How, can you explain how no one has any free will in your reality? Guys, everyone is simply a reflection. Your mirror has no free will but to be anything but what you stand and be like in front of every morning, does it? So if they're your reflection, they can't be anything else. Mm -hmm. Go and watch all my videos on free will. Loz, where do you live? I'm in Perth, darling, in Cottesloe. 
I've taken Xanax in two months since finding you. I haven't taken Xanax in two months since finding you. Oh, wonderful, darling. So, guys, come and watch the latest YouTube video at Subconscious Laws YouTube. It's called Fix Trust Issues in Love. I think it's called Trust Issues with Your Specific Person, if you want to look it up. It's my latest video. You can watch all the other videos in this series called Why It's Not Manifesting. But the most important thing, make sure you don't miss back and begging. It's the ultimate Manifest Your Specific Person back course. I know it's going to be my most popular course that I've ever brought out. I just have a feeling. And if you miss it, it'll go on the website for so much more. So come and join the squad for only 35 bucks and it drops on Monday. Come and follow me here. Follow me on YouTube. Subscribe. Come and join me on Instagram. We have lessons every day. Get my newsletter by getting one of my free courses and I drop a Loz lesson in your email every week. Come and join all the free resources that I've got, guys, my free courses, all those things. And also come and join the squad or the free Facebook group. But the squad is where you'll get back and begging dropping on Monday. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.